Hello and welcome to somewhere in France where I have been invited to drive the brand new limited edition Mustang Bullet which will be coming to South Africa in limited numbers in 2019 and I'm very excited and here's some superb stock footage of this new special edition it's actually the third bullet in Mustang history, but the first to be sold in South Africa. It's also available in black, but that's just silly. It obviously has to be green. And more importantly, it's only available with a manual gearbox. Now I must point out that this is only the second time in my life that I've had to use my right hand to shift gears, because obviously I'm, you know, on the wrong side of the road right now, on the wrong side of the car as well. And I suppose that just shows you that these days just about everything is auto or dual clutch and has a flappy paddle system. But this is part of the charm of the Mustang Bullet. It comes with a good old fashioned stick shift. I think that's what they call it in America. So you get six speeds and you get to control it with a sort of white cue ball thing which actually feels really good in your hand. And it's a good manual box. They've done a pretty good job with it. I mean, it's not as hardcore, as notchy as something you might get in a Honda Civic Type R, for instance, but they've definitely done enough to make you feel very engaged, very much part of the driving process. And to help you manage these gears, they've put in rev matching technology. Now, I don't know how I really feel about rev matching technology, but to be honest, I can't heal in tow. So at the moment, I'm actually really enjoying it on this beautiful mountain pass. And then of course there is the sound of the thing. The 5 litre naturally aspirated V8 now breathing through an active exhaust. I can't decide which of this car's noises I love the most. I really like it when you're slow speed and you've got low revs and it's just going whoop 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 whoop. But then you also get this lovely second gear foot flat. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's got so much character, this car. So, the bullet name. If you're one of those millennial types, you probably have no idea what they're referring to, and you probably think that Steve McQueen is a drag artist of some sort on a TV show, you know, like RuPaul's Drag Race or something. But anyway, Steve McQueen, to fill you in, was one of the coolest guys ever to have lived on this planet. Racing driver, superb actor, very good looking. He was actually a bit annoying, if you think about it one way. But he was a movie star of note, one of the biggest names of his time. And this car, or the car that this car pays homage to, became a movie star in its own right, thanks to one of the best chase scenes in history. It must have been a pretty special movie if 50 years down the line we're still making cars in its honor. And there is plenty to remind you of the past. Ford has had to license the name and logo from Warner Brothers and they've been fairly reserved with it but the logo on the gas cap is huge. The stallion disappears from the front grille and the retro style wheels are all blacked out. Revised headlights look mean as hell and the instrument display is now full LCD while the bespoke Recaro seats are comfy and supportive. But all of this will probably take the bullet very close to the million rand mark. How much is nostalgia really worth to you? <laughs> so for the bullet edition, Ford have cranked up the power a little bit. You now get 460 PS's per the strikers. Uh, it's about the same amount of horsepower and in South African kilowatts, 341 with 500 and 29 newton meters of torque so those aren't terrible figures so you would expect this car to be a tail happy monster and it isn't really actually because for some reason the gears are very tall so when you come down to second you can rev it all the way to the seven and a half thousand rpm mark and at that rpm you'll be doing well over 100 k's an hour in fact in third gear you can get all the way up to 160 but in saying it's not a tail happy beast i must be honest this car is fantastic 
at doing burnouts. In fact, let me cut to some footage of a burnout we did a little bit earlier. So I suppose as much as Ford really wants us to be a fairly hard-edged sports car, it's actually still a GT. It still feels like the kind of car that you want to just eat up country miles in. But in a world where a lot of cars are very similar, especially the ones that come out of Germany, this is just so different. It has so much personality, so much character, such that you're actually willing to forgive it most of its flaws, all of its flaws. And actually, there aren't that many to speak of. So, should you part with a million rand and put a bullet on your driveway? Well, I think part of the problem with this video is that it's me doing it and me telling you about this car. And I think one of the reasons I was sent here to drive this car is because people who know me know that my dad had a Mustang when I was a kid. And so there's a lot of sentimentalness in driving a Mustang for me. It kicks up a lot of nostalgia, a lot of good memories. So I'm probably a little bit too emotional right now to give you a properly unbiased view on this car but in a sense that's what this car is about it's a heart over head car you shouldn't think too much if you're looking to buy a bullet that's not really the point this is a car where character trumps ability every time you look in your rear view mirror you see that haunch over the rear axle that looks good the sound of it is phenomenal the way it looks just tugs on your heartstrings. This car is a movie star and it makes you feel like a hero. And that is probably worth paying for.